What's up guys, welcome to the Once Epic channel. Today we're going to be doing a one-on-one -on, -one on stream elements, a how-to guide, a tutorial. Uh, most of you guys, I know that you are here because of the fact that you know that Revlo is shutting down. Revlo.co, Revlo.co is a site that most, uh, well, some streamers or a majority of streamers use as a currency bot system of sorts. Uh, I'm doing this tutorial because I used to use Revlo. Uh, I mean, I have a current bot system here, but Stream Elements is actually something that I've recently shifted across to. Let's get straight into it. So this is my dashboard account. Um, currently, you can see the bits, uh, your tips, your followers for the day. So let's go through it. Why I think it's good. First off, you have the dashboard. The dashboard pretty much tells you everything you know. First thing that you see is your dashboard. So the dashboard is your stats. Stats are the most important part that you need to know as a streamer. How well you're doing, uh, how well you're not doing, this is all here. Overlay Manager is what I like the best. Uh, so mostly I stream Pokemon, Overwatch is something that I'm trying to do. Uh, if we go to the Overlay Editor as you can see, so these are the, this is the green screen that you have. So for those that are using OBS, all you need to do is copy the link once you've finished all your stuff here, uh, your overlay designs, and just copy it straight into to your browser source in OBS. I'm gonna start off with showing you widgets. There is a lot of customization here. Alert box, uh, even the chair cup, store redemptions, which I'll talk about later on and where it links to. So this is the grunt of where it is. Uh, latest follower, latest subscriber, latest tipper, all that kind of stuff, even cheers. So it's kept up to date with what the current status of Twitch is. Tip goals, static stuff that you can have. You can put videos in there, image rotator, which is interesting and cool. Slideshows, uh, images, text. Capogen is a really cool feature. That's why this is star there. So as you can see here, the Capogen widget allows you to take emotes from your chat and show on stream. So if your followers type in chat with an emote, uh, Kappa or whatever it is, it's gonna show automatically on screen. You can even set the permissions for that. So for example, we can have subscribers only to do it. It's linked with GameWisp as well. I'm just gonna say that on the side. If you are if you have GameWisp for your subscribers, uh, then obviously you can check in the subscribers only option but it's just dependent on what you want to do. So I guess it's a good feature if you want your subscribers to have something interesting to, to show for, you know? As a streamer, you want to give back, as I always say. I won't go into too much details about Capuchin. It's just an, a brief overview. Uh, I can probably create a tutorial about it if you guys want, but just this is just a brief overview of what Stream Elements is all about, okay? Now, chat stats. Yeah, pretty much straightforward here. General settings uh, just shows you the number of top chatters, Twitch emotes, all that kind of stuff. Chat information statistics. So the activity feed is also pretty straightforward. It just shows you the current people that have done whatever on your channel, which is great. Thanks, Scarfed. <laughs> A lot of bits there. Uh, and you can click on repeat if you have it on your overlay in the manager for the overlay managers. Tipping page, also again, uh, straightforward. If you have your own tipping page, uh, I use Streamlabs for this one here. I, I haven't really customized too much of it because uh, it has your, you can actually have your own homepage for it, which is kind of cool. It, it, Stream Elements is done pretty well. Uh, if I click on open page, yeah. So this is just an example of what I currently have. Um, yeah, it's pretty nice and simple. Uh, it's actually pretty cool. I didn't even know it had a leaderboard. This is the first time actually seeing it for myself because uh, I, like I said before, I use Stream Labs. Now, Oh, my tips, yeah. So my tips is a summary of all the tips that have been given to you. Uh, song requests, I haven't really delved too much into. Uh, song requests is something that I still haven't got on my channel yet. But as you can see, exclamation mark SR, if you enable it, it's all right there. Uh, if you go to public page, it shows you the current songs that have been on there as well. Uh, with the ones that are live and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but you can change that on the commands, on the commands page. So profile page, it just shows you all your show, social media stuff. Now, loyalty settings is where the core part of this whole stream elements is about. Loyalty settings, this part here, is the core of what stream elements is all about. My currency in my channel is called Shells, because I like Pokemon, Squirtle. As you can see here, you can define how many points a person gets every 10 minutes. A viewer, a follower, whatever it is. Uh, follower bonuses for people that follow, uh, tip bonuses, cheer bonus, host bonus, and ignored users for those that you don't want to give points to, you know. But if you don't want to give points to people, you probably banned them already. <laughs> and this is the summary of your settings, which I kind of like. 
It shows you the settings here, and then it shows you the summary on the side here where it says enabled, which is very good. The summary is a perfect way to define what you have done. Now, leaderboard, self-explanatory as well, the people that are on your channel. Uh, and it's a good way, so let's say for example, if I go to loyalty settings, if I go to my own channel, uh, type in exclamation mark shells, it gives you a summary of the people that are here, uh, who's the number one. It, it tells you the stats of where you are on the leaderboard, which is really cool. So the give points feature is really interesting because of the fact that, let's say for example myself, right? Uh, and where am I? I'm here, number 11. So I have one, two, nine, seven, okay? So uh, let's say, um, one, seven. You'll be able to find yourself. Let's say I want to give myself 100 points. I'm sitting at 1297 currently, right? If I refresh the page. I don't think you really need to refresh the page in this one, but I think I just wanted to double check. 1397. Now, I don't know if you guys know about this feature, but if you go to give points, type in the username, you can actually take away points from somebody. So sitting at 1397, if I go to where I am, I'm sitting at 1297 now. Um, I don't know if Revlo had that feature or not, I can't really remember, but this is a really good because you can just change it up right here. And give points, you can give it and take it away by adding a minus sign to it. Now the Steam Store is also your core. As you can see here, I have a couple of things here already. Um, if I go to edit, the difference between these two, stream perks and sound effects, is exactly what it is. Stream perks is just something that you give back to your viewers, whether it be, for me it's just swapping hats, for example, the hat swap item, swapping hats, something that uh, is is giveable <laughs> for you as a, as a streamer to the viewer. So sound effects is just exactly what you think it is. So if you click on sound effects, uh, just follow through the prompts, you can choose your sound, whatever it is, go to change sound. Uh, same with images and all files, you can upload as it is, drag and drop, which is pretty cool too. And it tells you how much space you have for everything in total, 100 megabytes in total currently. So I've uploaded a sound already and this is what it is. You get to click on play. Gangnam Style. And that's, that's my one there. Uh, so you can put whatever sound you want as well. The difference between Revlo and this one, uh, I preferred Revlo's option for this one than Stream Elements. So Revlo had more options of customization for items than Stream Elements does. With Revlo, you can actually customize everything separately. Name of reward, price of reward, upload image. There's quite a lot of customization that you do here. The thing with this one is that each individual reward that you have here pops up with its own separate sound and image. You can customize that specifically to each and every item in Revlo. Now, there's not that much customization, so what it is here, Stream Perks is the equivalent of what Revlo's uh, individual shop items are, okay? So if I click on Next, you can only do the same thing for every single item. So if I click on Create a New Item, it is all the same sort of settings. I mean, you can change item cost, item quantity, cooldown even, but the thing is, it's, it's only the same thing per every item. Uh, and sound effects is exactly what you think it is. So if someone claims it, it's going to be a sound effect that pops on. If I go to my overlay editor, what pops up on the screen is a store redemption alert item. So if you click on add, which I currently have here, uh, you can actually change the image and the sound. But the thing is, like I said before, the sound is the same for every single item you purchase in the store. That is the thing that I didn't quite like. Every single item that you purchase in the store doesn't have its own separate item and sound, which is something that I loved a lot in Revlo. It gives it a bit of a um, different flavor for each thing. As a streamer, you know, it, it helps a lot when you know there's a different sound or a different picture popping on in and go, like, oh yep, that is the item that somebody purchased as a viewer. But with this one, it's the same thing every time. Now, on to the butt. Modules, this is the cool part here. Uh, some of the stuff I've actually never seen before. For example, uh, chat alerts is pretty straightforward. So if someone redeems something or an alert pops in, you'll see it in the chat if you keep up with it. Uh, roulette is roulette, raffles is raffles uh, for to, to win points. So you can do a raffle to make people win more points, or which is your currency in your stream. Emote pyramids congratulates people if they do emote pyramids. Uh, bingo, the emote bingo. Jewels, jewels is kind of fun. So as you can see at the command, exclamation mark jewel, the name of a person and how much you bet to fight against that person. So if I bet $10 or 10 shells or whatever your currency is against the viewer, and if they accept it, exclamation mark accept or deny, which is explained also in the Twitch chat, it'll tell you, please accept this blah 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 in a matter of how many seconds, whatever it is. If you do it, uh, it's just a, it's a cool way of doing a rock paper scissors game. So if you win, 
Well, then that person that you're battling gives you that exact amount of shells that you bet for. If you lose, you lose that 10, sh 10 currency. Uh, 8 ball is 8 ball. Slot machine, you can actually do Twitter details and replies and retweets in your own chat, which is kind of cool. Uh, email combos, I I don't have in my chat. I don't like spam too much, but email combos, I guess, is a good way to... Uh, you can apply that with Capuchin. Congratulates chat for spamming. User management, uh, it's just for adding in regulars and moderators for your commands, which I'm going to be talking about now. Chat commands. Commands here. So you can have custom commands, which is pretty good. If I go to new command, uh, what happens with the trigger and response. And that's where the regulars and all that kind of detail comes from for the user management. So you can do it from here, subscriber, everyone. Here are the default commands, which is pretty cool. They have account age. Yeah, that's a default command. You can see how long uh, a person has created their account for. Another one that I like is follow age as well. So you can see how long they've been following for. With all these default commands, you can actually change the name of them on the command, which is pretty cool. Um, I've seen some systems where the default ones, you can't change the name at all. So you can customize the actual name for a default command, which is a good plus uh, for stream elements, which I really like. Customization stuff is also pretty self-explanatory as you can see the command costs, who can use them and all that kind of stuff. Spam filters, also same thing, self-explanatory if you've used Nightbot before, um, Deepbot, any bot, you'd have seen these filters before. Caps protection, email protection, link protection, all that kind of stuff. And timers, things that pop on the chat, for example, uh, is me showing details about my rules for new people that come in every 30 minutes. Somebody will see this message here saying, hey, check out the rules if you're new here. Uh, for me, I have a YouTube channel as well, and I put in my details about my latest video. And then there's also some support stuff if you want to do it. So at this point, I'm sure you guys want to know if this is better than Revlo. Stream Elements versus Revlo. In my opinion, hmm, Stream Elements is definitely up and coming. I like interaction, right? And with Revlo, there's a bit of that interaction with the store items. But this one has more customization with uh, the commands and what you can do and there's more statistics. So it's in between, it's kind of hard. Um, it's, it's really hard to differentiate which is better. I think both have their own aspects that are better. Revlo has better customization with the shop items. This one, Stream Elements, has more statistics and you can actually change a lot of customization. That is not the shop stuff. I've been on the fence and I've literally just lost a shoe on the Stream Elements side, so that means Stream Elements wins by a little shoe drop. The reason why I say this one wins is that because on Twitch, if I drag across, I regularly go on the Reddit Twitch site. Uh, Stream Elements introduced themselves not too long ago, a day ago. The good thing about this is that this guy here, oh no, it's him. How do you guys plan to provide all the services for free without running into the same problems Revlo did? That is a very good question. This is from Stream Elements directly. Revlo did not monetize their service, and I'm sure they will find that the community will love the support of good platform to keep it alive. So Revlo wasn't kept alive for long, I think, because it wasn't monetized. You know, you gotta. It's such a large and well-known system. A lot of streamers use Revlo, and the thing is. Without money or support in any sort of way, or even donation options, I don't know if they had that option. Revlo was hard to keep afloat. But with Stream Elements, they're, they're trying to, as you can see, in addition, we're working ways towards bringing additional revenue resources for streamers as well. We will allow users to sign up for a premium tier to unlock features, blah, blah, blah. You can actually change the custom bottom name, which is probably down the line. Why I like a Revlo, uh, why why I like Stream Elements a bit more is because they're thinking of ways to keep themselves alive. That's the thing. I feel that Stream Elements is going to be really up and coming for it. So, look, even they, even this person asked me, "Will you guys do a night mode on your ba uh, on your dashboard?" A new design is already done. Here's a small tease. Look at this. It's they're they're really trying to push it, and I'm really excited for to to see what they actually can provide. Customization is really what I'm looking for. The fact that Stream Elements is trying to get themselves afloat, uh, Revlo did a really good job. But Stream Elements, I think, will be a, a stable platform for a lot of streamers that are up and coming. Okay. So yeah, if there's any questions you guys want to know more about, um, I can do a more in-depth part two overview of Stream Elements. But this is just my generalized overview. In my opinion, it's really good. It's going to be up and coming. If they are trying to keep themselves afloat, then that's even better for us. 
Revlo is going down soon on June 16th, so hop on to Stream Elements because it's really good. Uh, the currency system is easy to customize. There's an overlay manager which is excellent. Um, it's in depth, that's it. Stream Elements looks simple and easy to use, but behind all of that is actually pretty, pretty detailed. So I highly recommend using Stream Elements if you're not using it already. So with that said, as always, I'm Blue from the Once Epic channel. Thank you for watching guys, um, and I'll either see you guys on YouTube Live Gaming or on Twitch. Peace!